The contest between the American F-A-18 and French Rafale M to supply 18 single-seat fighters and 8 twin-seat fighters to the Indian Navy has heated up, as US has now offered manufacturing facilities of the F-A-18 in India, that fits perfectly with the government's Make in India policy, and the F-A-18 means that the Indian Navy ties its future to a US-centric alliance network in the Indo-Pacific. A former naval officer has said that the F-A-18 is a proven versatile deck-based aircraft, which also meets the qualitative requirements of the Navy. The Vice Chief of Indian Navy has said that the Navy will submit the trial report into the operational demonstration of both aircraft by August, and the acquisition case will be fast-tracked. Bharat Earth Movers Limited has unveiled its 8x8 high mobility vehicle that has been developed by DRDO. It is powered by a Tatra T3B 92870 air cooled engine, and the vehicle is bullet and blast proof that can operate in all terrain and climatic conditions. The 8x8 vehicle with armored cabin can be used for a variety of applications, including for mounted gun system application, or mounting superstructure such as radar systems. The Indian Army will soon conduct trials of indigenously developed artificial intelligence-enabled unmanned all-terrain vehicles in Ladakh for surveillance and logistics operations. The trials will also be held in deserts in Rajasthan, before the Army selects a final product and goes for large-scale acquisition. The Army is also looking to incorporate the Trishul artificial intelligence-enabled and remotely operated weapon station that can engage targets at 300 meters. The Armored Vehicles Nigam Limited has announced that it has successfully indigenized the decontamination set used in BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicles. It has delivered the first lot of 60 indigenously manufactured decontamination sets, and this indigenous set will result in savings of over 1 crore rupees annually. Chennai-based Big Bang Boom Solutions will deliver 25 units of its anti-drone defense system to the Indian Air Force next month, that has an effective detection range of 5 kilometers. Kolkata-based Safe Seas has delivered 50 units of its battery-operated unmanned surface vehicle to the Indian Navy, and will be delivering 50 more units by the end of 2022. Chennai-based firm Hawking Defense has offered a wearable counter unmanned aerial system, and a burly Dan Han launched loitering munition, that can be used to breach walls or mitigate rogue elements. The Dute Mark I Nano unmanned aerial vehicle developed by Indian Defense Reforms, will undergo field trials by India's National Security Guard in the last week of July, and it will also be tested by the Indian Army's Northern Command by the end of 2022. The intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance drone weighs 200 grams and has a speed of 80 km per hour and an endurance of 30 minutes, and features artificial intelligence to detect targets. Indian firm CD Space Robotics has unveiled its new Spot V3 fixed-wing vertical takeoff and landing unmanned aerial vehicle, that is being developed in-house primarily for intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance roles. The indigenous drone has a wingspan of 4.5 meters, and is equipped with a single internal combustion engine, featuring electronic fuel injection for horizontal flight. The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said that the company has handed over 30 single-seater Tejas aircraft out of the 32 units that were ordered by the Indian Air Force, and one aircraft is currently awaiting for the Air Force to take delivery, and another aircraft will be handed over next month after carrying out mandated flight trials. The Light Combat Aircraft Division has switched to manufacturing 18 Tejas trainers and HAL plans to deliver four trainer aircraft this year, and the rest 14 trainers by 2024. At a time when the Brazilian manufacturer Embraer has started talks with the Indian Air Force for the C-390 Millennium, Airbus military has begun a quiet campaign and has hinted at the possibility of offering an A-400M airlifter to the Indian Air Force. 
Airbus Military and Embraer are both keen to establish local production lines in India, and both manufacturers are also willing to integrate Indian navigation and communication system on the aircraft. Boeing has said that it has a backlog for production of the P-8 Maritime Patrol aircraft that will keep the production line running till 2025, and with no fresh order being received this year from new or existing customers, it will be difficult to maintain the current production line for the aircraft beyond 2025. India's plans to procure six more P-8I aircraft was cancelled last year, due to preference given to the RDO-developed multi-mission maritime suite. Oh, my God.